Hi guys, welcome to all and in this video we are going to see another important concept in pandas called indexing data frames. So before that let me import the pandas library using import keyword. Let me execute this statement now. Yeah. So like before uh, we are going to do task 1. So first of all I introduce like data frames are used when we have multiple columns or features. Whereas series are used when we have only one column. So with this let's go and create the our first data frame which consists of uh, students names in column 1 and mocks of students in column 2 and the grades respectively in column 3. So we are going to use like pd.dataframe and specifying the column name and column values in a dictionary format. Let me execute this statement now so that you can see output now. Yeah. So you can see that the names are presented in columns like uh, respectively mocks and also grades. So in the task 1 let's go and access rows from index 1 to 3. So that means Ajay, Kiran and Sandeep. These rows I want to access now. So let's see how we can do that. So here I am specifying like the data frame and using dot ilog function and also specifying the starting index and ending index as 4. Here 4 ending index is exclusive that is that means it is not included. So let me execute this statement now. Yeah you can see right uh, I have achieved the task by using uh, df dot ilog. So here I have get like indexes from 1 to 3 okay. Yeah, let's go and see other talks now. So it lets me get uh, the single column names from the data frame. That means I want to get only this column names. So let's see how we can do this now. So I want to specify like data frame and the column name here uh, within like quotes and in the square brackets. Yeah, let me execute this statement. Yeah, you can see right we have accessed only one particular column called names. Yeah. Let's go and see like task 3. So accessing single column is easy. But now we want to access multiple columns like names and mocks from the data frame. So for this we want to specify like data frame name. And specify all the columns that we want to access in a list format. Okay. You got it right. So let me execute this statement now. Yeah. You can see right. The two columns are accessed. And we can access like this multiple columns. Yeah. Let's go and see the task 4 now. So let's get the mocks and grades of students scored by uh, name Kiran okay that means I want to get only this uh, Kiran marks and grade okay yeah let go and see how we can do that so first of all we want to mention like data frame name and the condition here condition is I want to get only the names of student name Kiran okay you got it right so we are mainly specifying the condition here and we are specifying the column name we want okay so that means we want the column names like grade and marks let me execute this statement now. So you can see right. We, are, we want to get only the student name Kiran. That means marks 46 and grade A. So this is exactly what is happening now. Yeah. Let's go and see the next task now. So like we are going to introduce one other uh, functionality now. That is dot .ilog for accessing rows. So the key point here is dot .ilog is used when accessing labels. And dot .ilog is used when accessing index positions. So let me show you a sample example so that you can get much clarity now. So let me change the index of rows now uh, instead of like 0, 1, 2, 3 up on like, uh, like custom labels now like A, B, C, D and E. Let me execute this statement. Yeah, you can see right the indexes have changed now from like 0, 1, 2, and 3 and 4 to A, B, C, D and respectively. You can see the changes right. Yeah. So in the task now we are going to access the row having name Kiran just as like above. But here now we are specifying like a label name. Yeah. Data frame name. I am using dot lock and by using the label name. Let me execute this statement. Yeah. You can see right. I am accessing the name like Kiran mocks and grade. So this is the method 1 and let's go and see the method 2. In the method 2 we are going to use dot ilog but we are specifying like index position. So index position means the uh, the current name where it is present. Let me execute the statement now. Yeah, you can see right. In the two ways we can we are going to access like what are values present in the name of current. Yeah, let's go and see the next task. So let's get the mocks and grade of student name Mega. So for that I am going to use df dot lock and I am specifying the uh, row label name and specifying the columns which I want to use exactly. So here I am specifying the label and also column names in a list format. Let me execute this statement now. Yeah, you can see right the values that are present in mega has printed here like 22 and C. So this is the method one by using dot lock function and we can also uh, get the same functionality by using dot dialog. But the key thing is we are going to specify the index. 
that means starting from 0 to at which index it is present okay let me execute this statement now yeah you can see right the marks of mega is printed here like 22 and c so one additional tip to you all guys that is to get more information about dot i log and log refer this official documentation of uh, data science to a data science so that you can get much clarity so with all this you can see right how we are going to accessing by using dot log dot i log and how we are going to access like multiple columns by using some conditions here yeah thanks guys thanks for your time